so the next piece that we're going to be going to is the part of the template that's on enrollments and disaggregations. And I'm going to hand off to Nalu to show you how to use the dashboard in order to answer those questions. Thank you. Um, this next section uh, on this template is about enrollment disaggregations. Um, so just now, uh, Yindra presented on FTS, which is one way to measure enrollments. And here, by disaggregations, we, we define enrollments as class seats. So it can be duplicated. If one student enroll in two of your classes, it will be counted as two. So this section asking you to disaggregate your enrollments by race and ethnicity, gender, etc. And we have a we built a dashboard on Chicago College course enrollment success rates. So the first question in this section asks you to answer the representation of traditionally underrepresented race, ethnicity, gender student groups in our discipline major compared to our industry or field. We, we understand like we ask you a lot in this sentence, we ask you to break it down by race, uh, race and ethnicity. We also ask you to break it down by gender, um, but you are the expert in your discipline. You probably already know who actually are at, uh, uh, traditionally underrepresented in your discipline or major. So you can decide you want to do gender or race ethnicity or both. So whether it can be improved or it's just right or is outstanding. So like what Indra did, you just control and click, it will take you to the dashboard. And um, So again, this is also a, a Tableau dashboard. So we publish our uh, dashboard to Tableau server. And the first page is uh, about the instructions, you know, to find the enrollments, to find success rates, what you need to do. And the top tabs, you can click through them. The first four step tabs are about enrollments, overall enrollments, broken down by race and ethnicity, broken down by gender, broken down by full-time, um, part-time. And then the next, the next four tabs are about success rates, broken down by the same demographics. I'll go to enrollments by gender first. I'll give you an example. Uh, today, I'm going to use EMS as an example, emergency medical services. So um, if you click onto this tab, you will see three things, three parts on this page. Left one is a visualization for the whole college enrollments broken down by gender. You can see, you know, extra vote in the past three years. What are the um, breakdowns by gender extra vote? And then the right visualization is for your discipline. It depends on what you selected here by these filters. And you will see, you know, if I select EMS, these um, visualization will change. And then the bottom one is also about your discipline. It gives you the numbers, the total numbers and percentages. So you will see you know, your enrollments in the past three years here. Like what Indra did, you, first you need to uncheck all because the default is checking all disciplines. And then you can either type down emergency here or scroll all the way down to the list. You will find it. Okay, let's see emergency. Okay, so the, these are the um, gender representation in all EMS classes. And then, you know, for the term type, we also, uh, we provide three types. And generally speaking, uh, as you might already know, summer demographics can be very different from fall and spring. So we recommend that you uncheck summer and to make data less um, messy, we can also um, just check about fall trends first. If you look at this comparison between EMS and college trends, you can see you know, EMS has more males represented than the whole college. The question asks you to um, compare the representation in your discipline to your industry and field. Again, you know, as an EMS professor, you probably know what is the representation of males and females in your industry and in field. So seeing these for your discipline, and you can go back and answer this question. You know, compared to your field or industry, 
how does the uh, gender breakdown in your discipline or classes compared to the industry? Like how could it be improved or is it just right or it's outstanding? You're increasing the diversity in the field. So that's how you uh, will answer this question. 